Apple recently announced a new update, iOS 26.2, which I've already installed on my iPhone, and it was about 12 gigabytes. And there are a lot more improvements, changes, as well as bug fixes, especially those animation glitches. For example, when you swipe down to open the control center and then go back, you used to get that screen burn effect from the control center, which was very annoying. Okay, so let's get started with the lock screen. If you tap and hold, then tap on customize to edit your lock screen. And when you tap on the clock, you can now see a new slider. This slider lets you control whether you want more of the liquid glass effect or more frosted look. One thing that I would really like to have is this type of control applied to everything, not just the clock, but the entire system. So we could control the transparency everywhere. This update feels more stable and finally has the actual liquid glass effect that we were supposed to have. The animations are now much faster and everything feels super smooth. You can also notice the pop-up animations is more bouncy. I mean, look at the bounce. Another thing that has been fixed is the bug where your phone would restart when you held an app to rearrange your home screen. Moved it around for a few seconds and then tapped the dots at the bottom. For some reason, it used to restart the phone, but now it's finally fixed. Now when you download a song from Apple Music, it will also download the lyrics. Before, it only used to download the music, not the lyrics, but now you have them both. And on the top of that, you can also translate the lyrics. If you go to settings, general, and then a drop, you will see a new option called manage known a drop contacts. So basically it shows the name of the people you have shared something with a drop and the names will appear here for 30 days. In the reminders app, if you create a new reminder, you will find a new option called urgent. When you turn it on, it sets an alarm for your reminder and plays the alarm even if your phone is on silent. The major app has also changed. Now, instead of solid white, everything has a transparent liquid style design. Battery performance has also significantly improved and now you can get a little more usage out of your battery. Another new thing if you go into settings, accessibility and tap audio and visual, then scroll to the bottom and tap flash for alerts. You will see a new option called screen. You can also select both options if you want. And when you turn it on, it will start flashing when you receive a phone call. So yeah, if you have also updated to the newest version, let me know what you think about the performance and what you think about the iOS 26.2. Thanks for watching the video, I hope you really enjoyed. For more videos like this, subscribe to my channel and click that bell icon to get notified every time I upload a new video. And also follow me on social media. The links will be in the description below.